Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars, and I'm getting ready to add the frets to one of my three string cigar box guitar necks. Come on into the workshop, and I'll show you how I do it. You coming? I already had the fret slots cut on this particular neck here, and I used this little template here which is on a 23 inch scale. You can print these out online. I've got this one from cbgiddy.com and it shows where the nut goes. I just lay the template right there where the nut went, marked the little fret lines with my pencil, and then went back with my straight edge and marked out all the frets. Then I took my little fretting saw right here where I have the a little homemade depth gauge there and I got just the teeth sticking out enough there to take this little tang that's on the end of the fret that will actually go into the neck now like I said this is a poplar neck and although it, it is a hard wood it's not as hard as let's say oak or a piece of maple so what I will do with a with this neck here is I will use this a gel super glue and what I'll do is I'll take me a toothpick and I've kind of cut it at a little slant if you can see that and then I filed it down on both sides so the toothpick will fit right into the fret slot now I'll take the super glue and add it to my little Pringles lid like this and then I just dab it into the super glue and just add a little bit into the fret slot one side then the middle and a little bit on the end take my fret put the tang down to the slot and then pound it with the mallet And take my wire cutters and snip it close. I'm going to continue and fret this whole fretboard. Okay, I've got all the frets in the neck there. And it doesn't take that long, even though you're gluing them in, because you could add the glue to three or four fret slots and then just put the frets in and then just keep going on down the line. It doesn't take that long. But the reason I glue it in is because on these poplar necks, before I was uh, taking a file and dressing the side, and one of the frets popped out. So it's easier for me to just add the glue in there. Now what I'm going to do next here, because they're very sharp on both sides, I'm going to take my file and I'm going to put the neck sideways. I actually do this in my lap. It's a little easier. But to show, I'm going to lay the file on the side of the neck like this and level the frets level with the side of the neck on both sides I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back okay I've got all the frets pretty much level with the side of the neck on both sides you can see that now I'm gonna take my file and I'm gonna do I could show you this I'm gonna put about a 35 degree angle all the way down this side and this side and I'll be back okay I got a pretty nice bevel on both sides of the frets if you can see that it's important to keep your file at the same angle as you're doing it on both sides and it's uh, it's not sharp going like this nothing's poking out nothing's poking out on this side so if you put your hand across the top here to finish dressing the ends of the frets here because they are kind of sharp on both sides I use this little file here this little flat file it has fine teeth on this side fine teeth on this side but there's no teeth here or here on the on this side so what I'm going to do is take it on down on each fret and do this And they'll go back on this side. Now 
and I'll do that on every fret on both sides and I'll be back okay they're starting to feel really nice right now real smooth I'm gonna do one final little pass on here with 220 sandpaper That's awesome this came out really nice I'm really pleased with it I like this c-shaped profile on the neck and the back feels real nice on your hands now is that the only way to fret a guitar absolutely not it's just the way I do it thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more cigar box guitar videos take care we'll see you next time Thank you.